Let's start the question class. Which of the following set of quantum numbers for an electron is incorrect? The given options are n is equal to 2, l is equal to 1, m is equal to 0, s is equal to plus half. Class, this is possible, so therefore this is the correct option. Let's go to the next option. n is equal to 3, l is equal to 2, m is equal to minus 1, and s is equal to plus half. Class, this is again possible, so yes, this is the correct option. Let's go to the next option. n is equal to 4, l is equal to 1, m is equal to 0, and s is equal to minus half. Class, this is again a possible case. This is a correct option. Let's go to the last option. n is equal to 1, l is equal to 1, m is equal to 0, and s is equal to plus half. Class, this is an incorrect option. As we can see, class, in this question, as we know that n has a value of 1, also l has a value of 1, which is not possible. As we all know, that for any value of n, L varies from 0 to n minus 1. If n is 1, L can only be 0. So, this is an incorrect option. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Plus, let's move to the next question, which is question number 72. Let's read the question. The ratio of radius of first excited state of hydrogen atom to the second excited state of lithium 2 plus ion is the given options are 2 is to 1, 4 is to 3, 1 is to 3 and 5 is to 2. So class as we all know that radius of nh shell is directly proportional to n square upon z. First I am taking for hydrogen atom n is equal to second as we are talking about first excited state. So, 2 square upon 1. Now, I am taking radius for Li2 plus ion, which is directly proportional to 3 square as the atomic number of lithium is 3 divided by 3 as we are talking about the second excited state. Now, we have to calculate the ratio of the radius of the first excited state of hydrogen to the second excited state of lithium 2 plus ion. So, radius of H divided by radius of Li2 plus which is equals to 4 divided by 1 upon 9 divided by 3. That will be equals to 4 upon 3. So, the ratio will be 4 is to 3. So, the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Plus, let's move to the next question which is question number 73. Let's read the question class. Which is the correct order of filling of electrons in the given orbitals? Thus, in this question, we are given with four orbitals and we have to analyze the correct order of filling of electrons in the given orbitals. For this, we have to analyze the n plus l value. The orbital with higher n plus l value will have the higher energy and will be filled prior to the other orbitals. Let's calculate the n plus l values for the given orbitals. For 4f, the value will be 4 plus 3, which is equals to 7. For 4d, the value will be 4 plus 2, which is equals to 6. For 5p, the value will be 5 plus 1, which is equals to 6. For 6s, the value will be 6 plus 0, which is equals to 6. Plus, we can see that 4f has a highest n plus l value, but among 4d, 5p, 6s, the n plus l value are the same. So, in this case, we can see the value of n. The orbital with higher n value will be filled prior to the other orbitals. So, the correct order is 4f, 6s, 5p and the last is 4d. So, we can see that the correct answer for this question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question class, which is question number 74. Incorrect statement among the following is. Let's read the option class. Particle nature of electromagnetic radiation is manifested in photoelectric effect. Yes, this is the correct statement class. The next is, according to Bohr's theory, angular momentum of an electron is quantized. Yes, this is again a correct statement class. The next is, Number of electrons ejected in photoelectric effect 
is proportional to the frequency of the light class no this is a wrong statement as the number of electrons ejected in photoelectric effect is proportional to the intensity of light rather than frequency of light so class the incorrect statement is number third let's move to the last statement bohr's theory is applicable to beryllium 3 plus ion yes this is a correct statement so the correct answer for this question is option number 3 class let's move to the next question which is question number 75 let's read the question class the number of radial and angular nodes present in 5 dxy orbital respectively are the given options are 2 and 2 3 and 2 2 and 3 the last option is 4 and 3 so class in this question we have to calculate the number of radial nodes and the number of angular nodes so i'm writing the formula number of radial nodes is equals to n minus l minus 1 we know that for 5 dxy the value of n is 5 for d the value of l is 2 minus 1 which is equals to 2 now the number of angular nodes is equals to l therefore we all know that for d orbital the value of l is 2 so the number of radial nodes as well as angular nodes is 2 so class the value of radial nodes as well as angular nodes are 2 so the correct answer for this question is option number 1 class let's move to the next question which is question number 76